Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful presentation software developed by Microsoft. It is a standard component of the company's Microsoft Office Suite software and is bundled together with Word, Excel, and other Office productivity tools. The program uses slides to convey information rich in multimedia such as pictures, graphs, and charts and is used to create complex business presentations simple educational outlines, and much more. It is widely used in class setups to make learning more visually engaging. Furthermore, it is also rather popular in a business or office setting since it allows data and statistics to be pitched more easily. Good day everyone! Our group lesson was all about applied productivity tools using slides. So, what you should learn about this lesson? This module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master the nature of biology. The scope of this lesson permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language used recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of the students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course, but the order in which you read them can be changed to correspond with the textbook you are now using. The module is focused on one lesson, working with slides, learning competencies and codes. Number one, uses common productivity tools effectively by maximizing advanced application techniques. Number two, creates an original and derivative ICT content to effectively communicate or present data of information related specific professional tracks. After gro going through this module, you are expected to number 1. Define the slide presentations. Number 2. Discuss the basic and advanced function of slide presentation. Number 3. Demonstrate common productivity tools in slides presentation techniques. And last, construct and execute different advanced functions in production by applying slide presentation techniques. Working with slides. A presentation software is an interactive and engaging slide that displays information. It also al allows to create slides show that pres present a topic and the lecture to motivate, to communicate, and persuade the audience. So, let's start this one. Create one folder with two subfolders in desktop and name it A. Feature, fe pictures, B. Videos. Number two, fill each folder with corresponding files. See the example below as your reference. Hello everyone, today in this lesson I'm going to discuss about adding pictures using slides. And for the presentation, I use PowerPoint and here are the three easy steps. For step 1, click on the insert heading. You'll find this toward the left side of the menu ribbon at the top of your screen. Click the insert heading to access image options. Step 2. Choose the folder containing your saved image in the dialog box. Take note of the file location you have saved the image. Using the insert picture, highlight your image by clicking insert from the lower right hand corner. But you can also double click your image from the insert picture directory to insert it. And lastly, after inserting the image, you can now position the image on the slide. Clicking your image should bring up guidelines and small square boxes that you can hold click to manipulate the dimensions of your image. Adding video For adding video, 
create another slide after the first slide and apply the blank layout. This is the step on how to add a video. First, click insert. After that, click video from the right upper part of the picture and then video from file. The next step is locate the video in the folder where your videos are saved same as insert pictures. Select the file and click insert. The playback tab provides option on how the movie will be played and displayed during the slideshow. It gives information about the video. Number 5. Click the F5 in the keyboard or start from beginning icon that you see in the upper right part to play the inserted movie or video. The last step is click escape key in the keyboard or click the end show to stop the video. Note. Similar to how you add a video, you can also insert audio in the same manner. Next is we have hyperlinking. For step 1, add another slide. Click home, then new slide, then choose theme for the hyperlink or you can also use the previous slide. For step 2, Use images, text, or URL. Copy and paste the URL you want to use from the browser or shapes when hyperlinking. For step 3, start by writing your text in the slide. For step 4, highlight the text and press right click, then link. Step 5, insert hyperlink, then click place in this document, then Choose a slide and press OK. Then finally, for step 6, save the presentation, press Ctrl, S, and keyboard, or click File, then Save. Strength PowerPoint presentations makes presenting data more engaging to the audience since visual cues such as graphs, charts, and images simulates the audience mind, in turn making them more attentive. It also makes understanding data more easier since the slide helps us follow the logical flow of the presentation. Weaknesses PowerPoint presentations, abundance of commands and features is indeed useful, but it is also major liability. The software's complex functions makes it harder for new users to comprehend it fully, so they might end up not utilizing the software up to its full potential. Opportunities With the start of online education, Physical visual aids were voided from online class setups and were instead replaced with virtual illustrations that can be easily presented online. PowerPoint presentations may capitalize on this as our current situation needs their features more than ever. Threats The competition for the top presentation software is as tight as ever, with the rise of similar software such as Canva, Prezi, and Keynote. PowerPoint presentations certainly need to find a breakthrough in their work that will differentiate themselves from other competitors. I have one question for you. Have you ever wondered what are some alternative slide presentation aside from PowerPoint? These are Canva. Google Slides, Prezi, and Keynote. Let's start with Canva. Canva is a browser-based design app and you can use it to create all kinds of things such as social media graphics, brochures, flyers, and of course, they do have a presentation design section. What's great about Canva is that it's completely free and you can get a lot of it in the free version. Now, let's move on in Google Slides. Google Slides presentation has the same purpose as PowerPoint presentation to serve as a visual support in an oral presentation. 
However, Google Slides offers different advantages such as being able to have your presentation in the Google Cloud and have access to it from anywhere and from any device that several users modify the same presentation at the same time or that all changes are automatically saved. Next is Prezi. Unlike nearly all other presentation apps, Prezi presents doesn't restrict the structure of your presentation to a straight line. The editor focuses on topics and subtopics and allows you to arrange them any way you want. So you can create a more conversational flow of information. And lastly is Keynote. Much like Microsoft PowerPoint, the basic version of Keynote is free for a Mac and iOS users through the App Store. This solution offers users the chance to seamlessly create presentations between Mac and iOS devices. It also allows collaboration with users who prefer Microsoft PowerPoint. What are the importance of productivity tools in our daily life? Productivity tools do that. They simplify collaboration and communication. They streamline process and they save time. They ensure that workloads are allocated fairly. When used effectively, they just make it easier for people to do their jobs.